All right, so here I am trying to figure out why my brakes are acting funny. Well, my brakes weren't really acting funny, but this wheel was making some crazy noise and it was popping and making all kinds of racket. And I decided that I needed to take it back off. And I just got done replacing the um, cylinder, the brake cylinder on here about a week ago. So when I did that, these little springs which I'll end up showing you in the end of the video towards the end of the video I had to put it back on and I had to make a makeshift spring because I didn't this the part store was closed at the time and I made a spring the spring was fine but the caps that hold these little springs on were pretty worn out and I thought I got it on there good and I wasn't too worried about it well unfortunately this is the the, the, that was the whole problem for all of this one of those springs caps went loose and it sent pieces of metal flying inside of this wheel hub and actually on my way to the shop I kind of got a nice little tug on that back tire and it freaked me out a little bit but I knew okay I really definitely gotta get this thing taken apart now so here I am beating the crap out of it and let me tell you this is no fun this is probably the third or fourth time i've done this and i've done both sides before it's, and i just anyway it's no fun it is no fun at all they say that you can you know go in the back and try to loosen your brakes well there's no teeth on the self adjuster in there there's no teeth on it from where i've worked on it in the past unfortunately so there was no going in and trying to loosen that up it just wasn't happening so i ended up taking a torch to it which is what I did last time I actually got the big torch out this time I only got the little can torch out just to see if I can get by with that without dragging the hose out on the other one because I didn't feel like doing all that you know but um I beat the crap out of this thing for an hour a whole hour and man let me tell you it was not fun I, I was cussing at myself I was mad I was wishing I had an extra hand in there because the tools kept falling out of one side and then the other. And it just, man, it was a pain in the butt. Anyway, I f it finally ended up getting it. So I want to go ahead and let you watch for a little bit. get her off I've been beating and beating and prying and yelling at it telling it come on baby just come off there she finally came off it's a little warm so I run and I grab my gloves real quick put them on and unfortunately I discover another problem whenever this came off since the brakes didn't want to let give and let loose that brake pad on the top left slid and it pushed in on the gasket on that cylinder ended up ended making it ended up leaking oh i can't talk right now it's been a long night 
it caused it to start leaking because it, it cut it open somewhere in there. So at this point, I'm pretty screwed because it's going on 9 o'clock and the stores are about to close. And I'm like, dang, I was hoping I could just get this apart, refix that spring, go ahead and make me a make makeshift cap to put on there. I, I was just going to build one in the shop out of some scrap metal and put it on there and make sure it fit good. But unfortunately, the cylinder was blown again. I literally just changed this maybe a week or so ago. And, well, maybe a little longer than that, but either way, it was running great for a couple weeks probably until this happened. And man, whenever I got that apart and I seen that, I just, I was at a loss for words. I didn't even want to talk, I didn't want to say nothing to the camera. And at this point, I'm just taking it apart, getting it ready, because I know I'm not going anywhere at this point. My, I could have got by with them brake pads, but at the same time, they were, they had chipped a little bit. So I was just, okay, I want to get a whole new brake assembly, a new one. See it. These two pieces are the whole problem. Now I need a whole new rear. So what I was saying there in the video, even if I do fix it and get it all back together, I'm still going to have that bad cylinder. I'm going to have to do it all over again and I'm not about to do that. I just think I could at least get it back on the road, get it back home until I could go out tomorrow. No. I was not about to do all that. That was too much work. And it really, it's, I, at this point in the video, when I'm working, I just, I didn't even want to talk. I was mad. I was like, come on. Why couldn't have just pulled it apart, fixed the spring, put it back together? But no. You always got to be prepared. Make sure part stores open and you got time because you never know what's going to happen but luckily I called my dad I was like but hey dad I might need a ride home or stay with you tonight until I get to the store tomorrow he's like oh take the work truck out there well the work truck was gone so we'll take the other truck well that truck was getting worked on and it was in the shops we don't know what what was going on with it so he was like well I'm in Evansville call the stores tell them what you need I'll get it and I mean, we got an hour to get stuff. I call one store, I call another. They got this piece, the other stores got that piece. And I finally, we got, I think it was uh, AutoZone or Advanced. I think it was Advanced that we went to. And they ended up having everything. We just had to go get one other piece down the road from their other store, but it was right down the road. Well, he got it, not me. He, he man, he blessed me because I was thinking, this isn't getting done today. I'm gonna be stuck. And I was, I was actually trying to do some work in my, like in my car door dashing or whatever but you know that wasn't happening the night but luckily dad came to the rescue I didn't get a video of us putting it all back together because at that point I was pretty frustrated and tired and I don't really have a stand for my phone to move it around and stuff it was sitting in a box this whole time but yeah dad came to the rescue he helped me put it back together we had it done in about 30 minutes or so we're back on the road <laughs> 